Hey guys! So you can probably tell from the title that today is going to be a tutorial. I just woke up today and I was really, I don't know, I was like in a festive holiday Christmas mood and all I can think about, I tweeted it earlier, all I can think about is putting up the Christmas tree and I really, really, really have to refrain myself from doing so because I feel like it is a bit early, like for society not for me. I would totally have the Christmas tree up in a heartbeat. I just love, love, love this time of year. And I think once November hits, it's like fair game. It's totally holiday season. Um, I had to go upstairs to get uh, my lights in the background. They're like our, some of our Christmas lights. I just thought I'd throw them back there to kind of start the festive mood. Um, and I like saw the Christmas tree sitting in the box and man, I really, really, really had to refrain. Um, but anyway, enough rambling about Christmas. Um, happy Friday to everybody. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. It's officially going to be the weekend here in a few hours. Um, for me anyway. Um, and I just, like I said, I woke up, I had planned to do um, a completely different video for today and I just wanted to create a look that I think would be really, really great um, pretty much on anybody. It's going to look great on any eye color because we are using a black and a warm brown and it's going to look fantastic on any eye color, any skin color. Um, you can really build the look, build the drama. I think that um, you can use any lip color with it. I chose to use a berry lip because berry lips are trending right now. They're very trendy and I just think that the berry colored lip really looks nice against the black eyeshadow, um, but you could definitely do a nude lip with this. Um, what else? Um, yeah, like I said, this is totally off the cuff. Uh, I didn't plan to do this tutorial. I didn't plan to do this look. I just kind of had an idea in my head and I, I hope it's turned out. So if you want to see how to get this look, keep watching. We're going to start off the tutorial. I've done my foundation and set my foundation and that's about the only thing that I've done. Um, I do have a foundation routine video that I'll post down below for you guys if you want to check that out. First thing that you want to do is you want to prime your eye um, because we're using such dark shadows like the matte black. You want to make sure that there isn't going to be any creasing and that the shadow is not going to move around on you. So the eye primer that I've been using is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I've really been enjoying this stuff. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of it and you're going to pop it all over the eye from the lash line and you're going to, I like to put it in the corner too just for the highlight color to stay a little bit better um, and then just like all the way up to the brows. And for this look, we're going to be using two Urban Decay palettes. The first one is the Smoked palette. So it looks like this. And this is such a gorgeous palette, especially for this time of year because it has all these dark, sort of smoky, sultry colors. It's just a really good palette for creating smoky looks, obviously, um, because of the title. Um, but today we're going to be using... Um, Blackout and Kinky from this palette. So we're going to be using Blackout first and we're going to take just a flat shader brush, something to pack the color onto the lid. And we're going to pick up some of that color, tap off the brush, and then just place it onto the lid all the way up to the crease, just packing it on. So place a tissue underneath the eye. This feels kind of weird talking to you guys with my tissue like over my whole face but this will just stop any fall down and like ruining your foundation that you just did so once you've packed the color on um you'll see like you have that nice shape starting that you're gonna work with so the next palette that we're gonna use is the naked palette the original naked palette and I use this so much, um, I'm sure all of you do as well. Um, and who's excited for the Naked 3 palette? Hello, I am. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna grab a, just a fluffy brush like this, and we're gonna pick up some Buck, 
Um, and that's gonna be the color that is gonna warm up this look. You pick up some of that color, tap it off on the brush, and then you're just gonna drop it in the crease and then just start doing back and forth motions. And this is just gonna warm up the, um, the look. Again, don't wing anything out. Bring it down into the outermost corner of the eye. Today is totally casual Friday around here. I just didn't even think, like I knew I was gonna do a video and actually today was gonna be like a different video, but I just couldn't help it with all the Christmas talk. I just really wanted to do um, like a tutorial for you guys. So this is totally spur of the moment video. So the next thing is pick up a fluffy brush like this and this is just going to blend out these edges. Just soften up the edges here um, just so there's no harsh lines. The next thing you're going to want to do is I like to put my highlight color just because um, because we're working with such dark shadows. Um, that highlight color that you put under your brow sometimes can trickle down and if it does then you still have time to kind of clean it up and correct it because you're not too far or too invested into the look. Um, so we'll put that highlight color and for that we're going to go back to the smoked palette and we're just going to pick up some of this matte sort of vanilla color called kinky. So pick up some of that on a big fluffy brush, tap it off so you lose a lot of that fallout and then just gently pop it under and you can see that it kind of falls um but like i said you're not too invested at this point and you can kind of clean it up as you go that's done i'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush now this look is really simple in theory but it does require a bit of blending so don't rush take your time really blend the look out um and it'll all come together. So it does take a little bit of work as far as like blending goes and really getting these colors to kind of hug each other closely. Just making sure that you're really taking the time to blend these colors out. Um, that'll be the key for this look. So the next step in this look is going to be pulling underneath the eye, pulling these colors underneath the eye, um, because if you didn't, obviously it looks really top heavy and it would look pretty ridiculous. Um, so one way that we do that, and like I said, sorry guys, this, this tutorial is totally casual. I'm just keeping it real. So I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And these are just great as a base for shadows. They're great to work with. They're really inexpensive um, and they work well. So just starting at the innermost corner of the eye and then just dragging this pencil just in through the bottom lashes just touching up to the waterline. Um, you don't want to drag this color down too, too far. You want to grab a smudger brush or a pencil brush, it looks like that. And you just want to kind of blend this color out, smoke it out of it. Make sure that you're really connecting it at the corner too. You want a lot of continuity with this look um, just because you are working with blacks and if there is any breaks in the look, it'll be really visible. Um, so just make sure that you're really joining all this black up right in the corner of the eye, but keeping it rounded. You don't want to like, you don't want to wing it out or anything. And then you want to grab the smoked palette again and you want to grab that blackout color such a pretty color it's such a perfect matte black pick some of that color up on the end um and if you don't have these palettes you don't have these colors any matte black will work it's pretty basic any matte vanilla color will work um and then the next thing you want to do is just pat that powder over top of the um black bean pencil that we just used 
and that's gonna seal everything. I find that the NYX Jumbo Pencils are really great, but they really need to be sealed down with um, a, a shadow in order for them to really last, really get the longevity that um, you need out of them. Next thing that you're gonna wanna do is drag some of that brown or that buck color that we used in the crease. You wanna drag that underneath the eye just to warm up the eye, and again, keeping with the continuity of the look. Um, so go back to Buck or any warm brown will work. So and pick up um, an angled brush like this um, and you're gonna grab some of that Buck, tap off the color so it doesn't fall down too much and then just start drawing from the outer corner all the way underneath that black just right underneath it. You don't wanna drag it down too far but it just will help warm up that black color a bit so now we really want to concentrate something on the waterline just because I feel like if it's left that pinky color, it's really incomplete. It makes the look look so much more pulled together if we put something on the waterline. And I'm going to be using Urban Decay's 24-7 eye pencil in perversion. So just coloring in on that waterline. And I'll also take it up on the upper waterline just to, this always freaks me out, like doing the upper lid. The next step is going to be um, lining the top of um, the upper lashes. And the reason I'm doing that is just to, again, create some filler in between the lashes. And I do have on some end lashes that I'll show you. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This is in Blackest Black. I've really been enjoying this gel liner. I know some people said that it dries out, but mine's been great so far. And I'm just gonna pick it up on this little um, eyelash liner brush and then just going along the top lashes so now it's time to add some highlighter um, I am going to use the naked palette again like I said we're just jumping back and forth and I'm gonna use virgin which is the lightest color I'm gonna use this flat little brush and then you're just gonna place it in the corner and I like to kind of pull it up a little higher um, like in through here So you're just, again, blending, making sure everything is blended really, really well. So now it's time for eyelashes. And I'm not gonna curl my lashes because I find that putting corner lashes on when your eyelashes are already curled is really difficult. And they're just the little baby corner lashes that look like this, they kind of flare out. So all you do is look down and then just pop them on where you want them to go and then just kind of squeeze and press them into your natural lashes like that. So now I'm going to apply my mascara and I'm actually not going to include this in my video because I am going to do a mascara routine video very, very quickly, probably within the next couple of videos. My lashes are completely done um, and now it's just time for some finishing things. So that's it guys, that's the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed it. it, was so much fun. It was kind of last minute and totally like off the cuff and relaxed and just whatever, but I think it's a really great look and I think that it would work well, like I said, for Christmas party, office party, going out for the night. It's just really deep and rich. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.